number of column is not equal to number of rows so therefore here we can't multiply the given matrix a b we have got the matrix containing three nine elements and b a we got the matrix of order 2 cross 2 containing four elements so this is what a b and b a the distributive law you can say a into b plus c can be written as a b plus a c you can also verify with the help of matrices hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore in today's session we will be learning the multiplication on matrices that is the matrix multiplication so as i said in our previous session the addition or subtraction of any two matrices requires the same order of a matrix that is if the order of one matrix is 2 cross 3 then the order of other matrix must be 2 cross 3 that to add or subtract any given matrices here also we have two matrices the condition is here Suppose if A is a matrix of order M cross P, then B should be a matrix of order P cross N. Then only I can write A, B in the form of an order M cross N. That is number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix then only we are supposed to multiply any given matrix for example if i write matrix a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and matrix b is equal to 2 and 4 so let's check the condition whether the number of columns in the first matrix verify with the number of columns in the second matrix. So here A is an order that is 2 cross 2. So here the value of P is 2 and here this is the order 1 cross 2. We have only one row, two column. So here number of column is not equal to number of rows. So therefore here we can't multiply the given matrix. Let me take another example. Let A is equal to 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 2 0 and B is equal to 2 3 4 0. Let me check the condition. This is the matrix of order 3 cross 2 and this is the matrix of order 2 cross 2. So here number of column is 2, number of rows is 2. So therefore clearly I can get AB. So I can get AB here. But here this is not possible. So whenever the number of column of the first matrix is equal to the number of row in the second matrix, then only I can multiply any two matrices. Also, the resultant matrix will be in the form of M cross N. So if M cross P is the order of A, P cross N is the order of B, then A cross B will be in the form of M cross N. Then what is the order of this matrix here? Then it will be 3 cross 2. So the order of AB will be in the form of 3 cross 2. That is, we will be having 6 elements inside the matrix. The next condition is how to multiply any given matrices that is by multiplying the corresponding elements no it is not possible. So we have a rule to multiply any two matrices. So that is let me consider matrix A in the form of A11, A12, A13. Next I will take A21, A22, A23. Let me take matrix B is equal to B11, B12, B21, B22, B31, B32. So why I am writing it in the form of 1112 means this represents first row first column element, first row second column element, first row third column element. Here it is second row first column second row second column second row third column so the 2 3 or 1 2 represents the place value of an element so any matrix 
element can be represented in the form of a i j where i and j belongs to set of natural numbers they'll represent only the value place value of a given particular element so here b 1 1 means first row first column element first row second column element second row first column second row second column third row first column third row second column element so it represents clearly the value now here becomes how can we multiply the element so always the matrix a into b will be in the form of so we have to take first row first column element so we have first row into first column element so that is our first element so it is sum of i can take sum of first row into first column elements next we need to take the first row second column element so sum of first row into second column elements next we can stop because we don't have another column if we have another column we have to take first row third column that is next we have we will take up for the second row now we comes for second row that is sum of second row second row into first column into first column next we have sum of second row into second column second row into second column so this is the rule to multiply the given matrices now clearly you can see this is the matrix of order 2 cross 3 and this is the matrix of order 3 cross 2 so clearly you can see here number of column is equal to number of rows so therefore they can be multiplied what is the order of the resultant matrix that will be equal to m into n so that is 2 cross 2. So clearly you can see this is a matrix of order 2 cross 2. Now let's see how to multiply these elements with this rule. We have 3 elements in the first row, 3 elements in the first column. So multiply the each element and sum of that is first element with the first, second to second, third to third element and then take the sum of each element. So according to this AB will be equal to so for the first one, first row, first column elements, it is A11, B11 plus A12, B21 plus A13, B31. So this is the first elements you will get. That is by multiplying all the elements and adding them. Next we'll go for the second one. So second one is same, first row, second column. So that is A11 b12 a12 b22 a13 b32 so this is the second element next we have second row first column three elements in second row three elements in first column so that is a21 b11 a22 b21 a23 b31 so this is done for the third place next fourth element is second row second column three elements in second row three elements in second column so that is a21 b12 a22 b22 a23 b32 so by adding these values you will get a single element so therefore you will be having four elements in the product ab so therefore the order of the matrix will be in the form of 2 cross 2 so like this whenever the number of columns and number of rows are equal we can multiply the matrix with the given rule here so let's take few matrices and we'll multiply and see what is the result First problem we have here, if A is equal to 1, 3, 2, 4 and B is equal to minus 2, 5, find AB. So first check whether we can find AB. So what is the order of this matrix? 2 cross 2. What is the order of this matrix? 2 cross 1. 
So here number of column must be equal to number of rows. So yes, we can find the product. So then what is the order of the matrix AB? It is 2 cross 1. So it should be in the form of 2 cross 1. First, let us see. So AB. So that is we have first row, first column. First row into first column. So we don't have any second column. We can stop there. So next we can take second row, first column. Second row, first column. So we don't have any another column. If we have other column, we have to write it separately and add it. So let's write AB. AB, first row, first column. So 1 into minus 2, I'm writing 1 into minus 2 plus 3 into 5. Next we have second row, first column. 2 into minus 2 plus 4 into 5. So let's see the result now. AB is equal to, so minus 2 plus 15, next minus 4 plus 20. So therefore AB is equal to 13 and here it is 16. So order of a matrix is 2 cross 1. Yes, we have 2 rows and 1 column. So this is our resultant matrix AB. Next one, if A is equal to 2, minus 1, minus 3, 1, 2, 0. B is equal to 3, 1, minus 5, 5, 4, minus 2. Find AB and BA. So let's find out AB. AB is 2, minus 1, minus 3, 1, 2, 0. So this is A and B is 3, 1, minus 5, 5, 4, minus 2. So clearly I can take first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. So since we have three columns, we will be having three columns in the resultant matrix also. Or if this is a matrix of order 3 cross 2 and this is a matrix of order 2 cross 3, then AB or BA will be the matrix of order 3 cross 3. That means you should have three rows and three column, total nine elements. So first let's write AB. So let's me multiply and add first row, first column element. 2, 3 is a 6. Minus 1 into 5, minus 5. So plus minus 5 you write. Next, first row, second column. 2 into 1, 2. Minus 1 into 4, minus 4. Next, first row, third column. 2 into minus 5, minus 10. Minus 2 into minus 1, plus 2. So finished. First row, all the three columns finished. So next we will take second row with all the three columns. Minus 3, 3, minus 9, 1, 5 is a 5. Minus 3, 1 is a minus 3, 1, 4 is a 4. Minus 3 into minus 5, 15. 1 into minus 2, minus 2. So finished. Third row with all the three columns. 2, 3 is a 6. 5 zeros are 0. 2 ones are 2, 4 zeros are 0. 2 into minus 5 minus 10 plus 0. So this is AB now. So AB is equal to, let's see the matrix, 6. So minus 5, 1. Next we have minus 2. Next we have minus 8. Next minus 4. 1, 13, 6, 2, minus 10. So this is the matrix A, B. Now let's check the matrix B, A. So B, A means first take B, 3, 1, minus 5, next 5, 4, minus 2. Let's write A now. 2, 1, minus 3, 1, 2, 0. So what is the order of this matrix? 2 cross 3. What is the order of this matrix? 3 cross 2. So here we have 
number of columns is equal to number of rows. So therefore it is equal. Now BA will be in the form of 2 cross 2. So that means you will be having only 4 elements. So now let us see first row first column. 3 2s are 6. 1 into minus 3 minus 3 minus 5 into 2 minus 10. Finished. First row second column separately. 3 into 1 3. 1 into 1 1 minus 5 into 0 0. Finished. First row finished. Now second row first column. 5 2s are 10. 4 into minus 3 12. Next we have minus 2 into 2 minus 4. Similarly 5 1s are 5. 4 1s are 4 plus 0. So let us see the matrix now. So minus 3 minus 10 is minus 13. Minus 13 plus 6 is minus 7. Next we have 4. 10 minus 12 is minus 2. Minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. So this is matrix BA. So AB we have got the matrix containing three nine elements and BA we got the matrix of order 2 cross 2 containing 4 elements. So this is what AB and BA and we can also see here AB is not equal to BA. So clearly we can see AB is not equal to BA from this multiplication of two matrices. Next we have if A is equal to 2, 3, minus 4, 1, minus 1, 5, 6, 2. Show that A, B whole dash is equal to B dash, A dash. So dash represents here the transpose of a matrix. So we have to prove this results. It's a question for 3 marks which may be asked for your examination. Let's prove this. First, let us solve the left hand side. Let's multiply A, B. A, B is first row first column 2 into minus 1 minus 2 3 into 6 is 18 next first row second column 2 into 5 is 10 3 into 2 is 6 next second row first column minus 4 minus 1 4 1 into 6 is 6 minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 1 into 2 is 2 so next let's write a b AB is equal to 16, 16, 10, minus 18. So let's take the transpose of this matrix. So we will get 16, 10, 16, minus 18. So let me take this as equation 1. Now let's see the right hand side. We have B dash into A dash. Let's write B dash. B dash is transpose of B minus 1, 6, 5, 2. Next A dash. A dash is transpose of A, 2, 3, minus 4, 1. Let's multiply B dash, A dash. Minus 1 into 2, minus 2, 18. Minus into minus 4, plus 4, plus 6. Next, 10, plus 6. Next, minus 20, plus 2. So, let's see what is B dash, A dash now. So, it is 16, 10, 16, minus 18. Let's take this as equation 2. Observe equation 1 and equation 2. They are one and the same. So, therefore, I can conclude from equation 1 and equation 2, the transpose of the matrix AB is equal to transpose of B dot transpose of A. That is AB whole dash is equal to B dash into A dash. Next problem, if A is equal to 3, 2, 4, 1, prove that A square minus 4A minus 4I is equal to 0, where I is the unit matrix and 0 is the null matrix of order 2 cross 2. So, I as a unit matrix and 0 is the null matrix of an order 2 cross 2 means I will be in the form of 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0 matrix will be in the form of 0, 0, 0, 0. 
So we have to show that solving this matrix equation, the result will get it as a null matrix. So first let's find out a square. A square means 3, 2, 4, 1 into 3, 2, 4, 1. So let's multiply this. So a square is equal to 3, 3 is a 9, 2, 4 is a 8. Next 3, 2 is a 6, 2, 1 is a 2. Next 4, 3 is a 12, 1, 4 is a 4. 4, 2 is a 8, 1, 1 is a 1. So a square, you will get it as 17, 8, next 16, next 9. So this is a square. Next we will see a square minus 4a minus 5i. a square minus 4a minus 5i. Let's check a square. a square is 17, 8, 16, 9. Minus 4 into a. a is 3, 2, 4, 1. Minus 5 into i. 1, 0, 0, 1. So let's take the subtraction of all this. 17, 8, 16, 9. Minus 12, 8, 16, 4. Minus 5, 0, 0, 5. So see here 17 minus 12 minus 5. Next 8 minus 8 minus 0. Next 16 minus 16 minus 0. 9 minus 4 minus 5. So clearly we get all the elements as 0. That is equal to the null matrix. Hence we have proved it. So this is also a question carries 3 marks in your examination. So along with few properties of transformation and product, we have some more properties. We have learnt that is AB whole dash is equal to B dash into A dash. Similarly, we have A plus B whole dash is equal to A dash plus B dash. That is the transpose of sum of two matrices is nothing but the sum of the transpose of the two matrices. And similarly, difference A minus B whole dash can be equal to a dash minus b dash and we have seen that the product a b cannot be equal to b a that is their order may be different but there are some extreme cases where they are equal that is when either a or b are identity matrix then only they are equal in all other cases it is not true that is the product of matrices not commutative but the product of three matrices A, B, C verifies associative property. Next, we have also learned this A double dash that is transpose of any matrix is always equal to itself. That is double transpose of any matrix is always equal to itself. Next, the distributive law you can say A into B plus C can be written as A, B plus A, C. You can also verify with the help of matrices. Next, a into i. So when you multiply any matrix with the same order of identity matrix, i is always a square matrix, remember. So when you are multiplying any matrix with the identity matrix or identity matrix with any other matrix, the result is always the resultant matrix that is A itself. That is why I is called as the multiplicative identity of matrix whereas the null matrix is the additive identity of matrices. Now let's take few more problems. We have here if x, y, z is equal to 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 1, 1. Find x, y, z. First let us multiply the right hand side. So let's write x, y, z here. Let's multiply first row into first column. So 1 1s are 1, 0 1s are 0, minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Finished, we don't have any other column, so we can stop there. Next we have second row first column, 2 1s are 2, 0 1s are 0, minus 1 into minus 1. Finished, third row first column, 0 1s are 0, 1 1s are 1, 
minus 2 1s are minus 2. Let's see the result now. 1 minus 1 0, 2 minus 1 1, 1 minus 2 minus 1. So when we say two matrices are equal, if their corresponding elements are equal. So therefore, according to the equality of matrices, I can write x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to minus 1. Next one, if a is equal to 2 minus 1, 3, b is equal to 1, 4, 2, find a, b and b, a. So let's see a, b. So a, b is 2, minus 1, 3, 1, 4, 2. So a, b. First row into first column, 2, 1s are 2. First row into second column, 2, 4s are 8. First row into third column, 2, 2s are 4. Because we don't have any other element in the first row, we have only single element. So multiply only with the single element. Next, similarly, minus 1 into 1, minus 1. Next, we have minus 4. Next, we have minus 2. Next, 3, 12, 6. So this is A, B. You can also check with the order of a matrix. This is a matrix of order 3 cross 1. This is a matrix of order 1 cross 3. So therefore, leaving 1, so it's a matrix of order 3 cross 3. Therefore, it should contain 9 elements here. Let's check for B, A. So now B, A, B is 1, 4, 2. And here it is 2, minus 1, 3. So this is the matrix of order 1 cross 3. This is a matrix of order 3 cross 1. So leaving 3, we should have 1 cross 1 matrix. So we have first row, first column. So we have first row, 3 elements, first column, 3 elements, multiply. 1, 2 is a 2. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. Plus 2 into 3, 6. So clearly it's a 1 cross 1 matrix because we have only one element here. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 6 is 4. So therefore, the matrix only contains the single element that is 4. Next we have A square. So that is 3, 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, 5. Same matrix, 3, minus 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 0, 5. So multiplying A square, first row into first column, 3, 3 is 9, next minus 1, plus 4. Next, first row into second column, 3 into minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, 0. First row into third column, 3, 2 is a 6, minus 2, next 10. Second row, first column, 1, 3 is a 3, 1, 2 is a 2, 2, 2 is a 4. Next, 1 into minus 1, minus 1, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 0 is a 0. Next, 1, 2 is a 2, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 5 is a 10. Next, last row with the three columns, 2, 3 is a 6, plus 0, plus 10. Next, minus 2, plus 0, plus 0. Next, 4, plus 0, plus 25. So, when you add all this, the matrix will be 12, minus 5, 14, 9, 3, 16, 16, minus 2, 29. So this is the resultant matrix. So if A is equal to 1, 2, 1, 4, B is equal to 4, minus 3, 2, 1, and C is equal to 1, 0, minus 2, 4. So first we have to verify the associative property A into B, C is equal to A, B into C. Next, the distributive property A into B plus C is equal to AB plus C. So again, these type of question carries three marks. So any one from the sub question they may ask you. So first let's see A into BC. So first see what is BC. So BC is matrix multiplication of these two. 
So 4 ones are 4 minus 3 into minus plus 6. 4 zeros are 0 minus 3 plus 4. 4 threes are 12. Next we have 2 into 1, 2 minus 2. Next 2 zeros are 0, 1 fours are 4. So the matrix is here 10 minus 12, 0, 4. So this is BC. Let us multiply A with BC. Next we have 1 tens are 10, 2 zeros are 0. Next we have 1 into minus 12, minus 12, 2 fours are 8. Next 1 into 10, 10, then 0. Next we have 1 into minus 12, minus 12, 4 fours are 16. Let's see what is A into B, C. 10, 10. So here it is minus 4 and here it is plus 4. This is A into B, C. Let me take this equation 1. Now let's check A, B into C. So this is for the first one. A, B into C. First let's see what is A, B. A, B is, so 1, 4 is a 4, 2, 2 is a 4. 1 into minus 3 is minus 3, 2 ones are is 2, 1 4 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 1 3 is a minus 3, 4 ones are 4. So the matrix will be 8 minus 1, 12, 1. Let's see for A, B with respect to C. So this matrix with respect to C. So that is first row, first column. So 8 ones are 8 and minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2. Next we have 8 zeros are 0 minus 1 into 4 minus 4. Next we have 12 into 1 so 12. Next we have minus 2. Next it is 12 0 plus 4. So the matrix is 10 10 minus 4 plus 4. So let me take this as equation 2. So from 1 and 2 you have 10 minus 4, 10, 4. So therefore what we can conclude? A into BC is equal to AB into C. Hence matrices ABC satisfies the associative property. Let's take for the second sub question. So let's prove that A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. We have already calculated AB that is AB we got it as 8 minus 1 12 1. So AB is equal to 8 minus 1 12 1. Now let us check for AC. So first let us write what is A. A is 1 1 2 4. C is 1 0 minus 2 4. Let's see AC, 1, 1 is a 1, minus 4, 1, 0 is a 0, plus 8, 1, 1 is a 1, minus 8, 1, 0 is a 0, 4, 4 is a 16. So therefore, AC is minus 3, 8, minus 7, 16. Now let's add AB and AC. So this I'm doing AB plus AC. So our AB is this, AC is this. 8 minus 3, 5. Minus 1, 8, 7. 12 minus 7, 5. 1 plus 16, 17. So let me take this as equation 1. Now let's see the third one. First let me calculate B plus C. So what is B? We have 4 minus 3, 2, 1. 4 minus 3, 2, 1. What is C? We have 1, 0, minus 2, 4. 1, 0, minus 2, 4. So let's see this. We have to add it. 4 plus 1, 5. Minus 3 plus 0, minus 3. 2 plus minus 2, 0. 1 plus 4 is 5. Let's multiply with A into B plus C. 
So that is the value of A is 1, 1, 2, 4. And here you have 5 minus 3, 0, 5. So here you will have 5 plus 0. Next you have minus 3 plus 10. Next again we have 5 plus 0. Next we have minus 3 plus 20. So the answer will be 5, 5, 7, 17. So let me take this as equation 2 again. So clearly again here also equation 1 and equation 2 are same. So therefore I can write a into b plus c is equal to ab plus ac. Hence the result is proved. Next question we have solve for x and y. So we have here 2 minus 1, 3, 1, x, y is equal to 10 and 2. So here let us multiply the right hand side of the equation. We have first row, first column. So we will get it as 2x minus y. Next here we will get it as 3x plus y. This is equal to 10, 2. So equality of matrices we can equate them. And here we get 3x plus y is equal to 2. So let's add it. We get 5x cancels is equal to 12. So x is equal to 12 by 5. So let us take any one of the equation. 2x minus y is equal to 10. So 2 into 12 by 5 minus y is equal to 10. Or I can take y is equal to 24 by 5 minus 10 or y is equal to minus 26 divided by 5. So this is the value of x and y. So in today's session we have learned the product of matrices and certain properties related to it. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.